you all, this is E-Man Booze. Why, oh why, do we like to drink rye? I'll tell you why. Because it's good. Why, why wouldn't we? Rye, listen up here. Rye's hot right now, along with bourbon and a few other spirits like gin. And all the cool stuff that's going on in the craft distilling uh, industry with all these new distilleries coming up. We're in a renaissance right now, and uh, it's great when you come across a good rye. Now tonight we have one. This one here is called Roundstone Rye. It's produced by a distillery called Catoctin Creek Distilling out of uh, Purcellville, Virginia, which is in Loudoun County. And for any of you that have uh, hung out and around the D.C. area, there's lots of wineries in that county there. There's probably about 20, 25 of them, I would guess. And uh, so there's lots of good things coming out of Loudoun County, Virginia. Now, this here distillery was started by a husband and wife. She was a chemical engineer, and he was an IT dude. And I guess they made a few dollars, and they said, you know what? We're going to bankroll this, and we're going to roll the dice and start a distillery and do what we really want to do. So, with their experience, heck, I think they're doing good. They've been at it now for five years. But let's get to the rye. Now, first let me say this. It is organic. It's even kosher. So, uh, you know, you don't find too many of them out there. But it is good. They do try to source the grains and the fruits, because they make other spirits. They make brandies, a couple different fruit brandies. They make a gin, they make a couple other types of whiskeys. And they try to source things locally, and it's all organic. So they're paying a few more dollars for the ingredients, but that translates sometime into a better product in the end. All right, so now, uh, I had to put some in the glass here to let it open up and nose up a little bit. So, uh, Let's give it a little smell and see what we find here. Well, first of all, let's take a look at it. It's light. It's on the light side. Uh, it's, not, it's aged about, I think they, they told me about a year and a half. Okay, so it's not aged a real long time. Doesn't mean anything, though. If you know what you're doing with the wood and how you're doing it, you can still put a dynamite product out there. I think people get hung up on this age thing sometimes. But uh, the color's nice. It's a... It's, uh, it's a, it's a nice deep amber hue here, it's not real dark, uh, but it's nice and clear, it looks good. Let's give it a nose. Now this, I don't know if I ever had a rye smell like this before. This has got some really neat notes in it. I pick up, the first thing that I pick up that comes right at me is this pear note. It smells like an Asian pear or maybe a... Uh, um, uh, just a slightly underripe, like a Bosque pear, one of them. Uh, it's got that note in it. Uh, I pick up, I pick up a little solventy tone. Um, I get, I get a bright citrusy note, and then you get some rye spicy tones in here too. It's really interesting. Don't smell like most of the ryes I've ever had. Now look, they make this in an unaged version. That's called Mosby Spirit, okay? And that's kind of like, think of it like, um, almost like a, a, a moonshine or a clear spirit, uh, but unaged, but made from rye. So I gotta get that one too and, and try that one and see the difference between the aged and the unaged. They got a neat nose. Let's give it a whirl. Mmm, I love the mouthfeel. Now remember what I told you I smell the pear, a little bit of the solventy tones? I taste that up front. Then it fades away and gives me all the nice uh, uh, whiskey tones and, 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 and ends up real spicy on the rye. Get a teeny touch of vanilla in the back note too. A little bit of honey tone, maybe like... Uh, Maybe like a piece of like a hard caramel candy or something, you know. Uh, what would you call that? Uh, toffee or something, maybe. I even pick up, believe it or not, a slight banana note. So, so that's a neat ester, what's which is produced in here.
mm, a spiciness from the rye. Believe it or not, I can even pick up a little bit of dark, dark chocolate, uh, more like cocoa on sweet now. I get a teeny bit of that in there too. That's kind of real interesting. You usually don't find that uh, less, than the, less than the spirit's kind of uh, old, but I'm picking up that. This is, this is a really, really unique. I can't wait to make me some cocktails. Oh, by the way, you got to check out the, the website, CatoctonCreekDistilling.com. Not only do they have good drink recipes, but they got some good food recipes on there too. So definitely check that out. And the distillery, if you get down there, hosts a lot of different events and things. So seems like a really neat place to uh, visit. I'm going down there within the next couple of months. I'm going to call them up and let them know I'm coming. This is cool here. This is a very, very unique. Like that rock group says, loving every minute of it. I'm E-Man Booze. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. I write the Distillery of the Month column for Main Street Distilling, uh, MainStreetDistilleries.com. And uh, on that note, grab your bottle of this here, uh, Catoctin Creek Roundstone Rye. Have a good evening. Bye, you all.